In this tutorial, we will learn the quantitative analysis of wound healing using ImageJ software. Here is an image of a scratch assay and in this tutorial today, we will learn to measure the area of the wound from this image. First, let us launch the ImageJ software. To do the quantitative analysis, we require a macro that needs to be run before starting the quantitative analysis. Head to the website as shown in the screen below and click on the link mriwoundhealingtool.ijm. This can be used as a macro to do the quantitative analysis. The macro file can be renamed as you like with the extension .ijm. Here for this tutorial, I have named the macro file as woundhealing.ijm. Now this macro is ready to be installed. To do this, click on plugin, macro, and install. Clicking on the install button leads to the macro folder. Simply drag the macro file and then click open. In the image J toolbar, three options appear. The first option here leads to a website that instructs how to use this macro. The next option is M. This function helps in setting the threshold and also define the minimum size of the area to be calculated. And the function of the option B is basically to analyze stack images. To begin the measurement, let us open the image of our interest. Once the image is opened using the ImageJ software, convert the image into a 8-bit image if the image is a RGB color format. Once the image type is set, go ahead and make a right click on the option M. A dialog box appears that has different parameters to be input. The first parameter talks about the method. Here in the drop down, the variance option can be selected. The next option is variance filter radius. This is automatically set to 20 and it can be set as it is or can be changed. The next option is threshold. For this tutorial, let us set to 35. It is very important to change and set the threshold level according to the image type. The radius close can be changed or it can be kept as it is. The next option is to define the minimum size of the area to be measured. This is very important since the setting here can dictate or change the area of measurement. The ignore spatial calibration option can be left as it is. And then once the parameters are set, click on OK. The next step is to define the properties of the measurement. To do this, click on Analyze and Analyze Particles. The size can be set according to the type of image to be analyzed. Here for this tutorial, let us set the size in inch square from 1 to infinity. Alternatively, one can also select the pixel units as a size unit. The circularity can be kept as it is. For the next parameter, show, change the drop down to overlay. Check on display results and overlay. It is very important to check on the display results and the overlay options. Once these parameters are set, click on OK. Now, this image is ready to be measured. Make a left click on the option M. This function allows ImageJ software to run and display the area of the scratch essay. Once the program completes running, it displays the area along with other parameters. So let us discuss one after the another. The edges of the scratch in this image has been marked with yellow lines. The enclosed area 
defined by the yellow lines is the measurement of the area defined by the ImageJ software. The result section displays three options along with the name of the file. It shows the area and the standard deviation. The area defined by the ImageJ software for this scratch essay is 130.24 with a standard deviation of 16.16. .16. The ROI Manager dialog box can be used to edit the lines that define the edges in the scratch essay. As we can see, the center of the image contains a numerical number 1 being displayed. You may like to remove it for publication purposes. To do this, uncheck the label options and the numerical number will be removed from the center of the image. Clicking on Properties leads to another dialog box. In this dialog box, it lets you change the name of the area measured, also the color and the thickness of the line. For instance, the selected area can be renamed according to your choice. The position and the group options can be also changed according to the type of the output required. One can also change the stroke color to a different color of your choice. For example, to consider changing the color to red, erase yellow and change it into red and then click OK. Now the lines have been changed into red color. One can also change the width of the lines. For example, changing the width to 2 slightly increases the thickness of the line. Properties in the image J allows you to choose color from various choices as a stroke color. Apart from the stroke color and the thickness of the line, Image J also provides the option to change the fill color of your choice. The other properties include listing the coordinates in X and Y axis. The results from this Image J measurement can be easily saved into an Excel file. The result file can be renamed and then click save. For publication purposes, you may like to save the image along with the lines overlay in the image. To do this, bring up the ROI Manager dialog box and attempt to close it. Another dialog box appears that would ask you to save the overlay. Click on Save as Overlay and your image will be saved. If you have a scale bar on your image, then one can also set unit accordingly. Thanks for watching the tutorial. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments section below.